Hello guys, it's Sacwebs. Welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, hello, my name is Emily and I'm a French artist and YouTuber. In this week's video, I'm going to show you something completely, not completely, but very different from what I usually do because um, I'm going to do first a digital artwork and second, uh, there is no character involved. So this piece is for the YouTube Artist Collective. This uh, collab is basically us artists from YouTube, uh, I think it was two years ago almost. A friend of mine um, and I actually wanted to um, take part into an auction on uh, on Facebook for the Bad Apple Artist Collective. And, um, basically applications were closed so i had the idea to maybe do a youtube artist collective and it escalated from there and now there's a lot of members everyone is super talented so before i jump into the actual time lapse and explaining how i came up with the idea i would like to tell you to check them out i will list all the members below and the guest members everyone did an amazing job and uh, i think it's been really challenging this time because um, this team, I mean, you kind of have to take a turn or make either a cliche artwork, I suppose, or you have to do something very well thought. Um, so the theme for this collab was uh, word in worlds in a bottle. <laughs> At first, I was wondering if it was words, but no, it's it's world in a bottle, and I wasn't very keen on to like on the theme at first so I didn't really thought about uh, the concept or anything for a while I just had a general idea that I might just do a fantasy theme artwork like I usually do and uh, it was kind of hard at first because I didn't really picture anything inside a bottle I mean I'd love to design bottles like actually the, the, the fun part was almost just the fact that I get to design items but uh, creating the world inside of it I don't know something kind of messed I mean it kind of messes with my, with my head because the scale of things is completely different I didn't know if I wanted to have um, the bottles being uh, into a world or if I was just putting a world inside of it should it be related to the shape of the actual bottle or not I didn't want to have something too cliche by cliche I mean like every time I googled stuff about bottle world or world in a bottle every single time I had the same idea the same concept of like a sheep in the sails you know in like a bottle or some sort of paradise island or characters inside a bottle um, it was always the same thing and I don't know, I mean, I could have also done like a genie in a bottle. I could have, I thought about mermaids in bottles because of the water. Like, it would be kind of fun, but I wanted to do something different. I didn't want to just do the cliche go-to theme artwork. What I had in mind is I wanted my bottles to be as their own, I guess, part of the artwork. It's not just a world in a bottle. It's not like the focus of the piece to say so it's bottles in a magician or witchcraft workspace of some sort there's a library with like books and everything and the table and there's bottles that are pretty much ingredients for whatever project that this witch to say so i in mind and there's mini worlds that are used as ingredients and it's kind of creepy i suppose <laughs> um but it's more like mini universe that are consistent i mean what is it sufficient on their own like it's magical so they don't actually uh run out they are living inside and they keep uh producing the ingredients so uh what i had in mind at first was to maybe just do fairy dust um but when i sketch my little um bottles on a piece of paper I just figured it would be a little bit too plain looking inside I mean I could have just draw like one or two fairies and fairy dust because it is in the ingredient but I just figured that uh, I don't know I wanted something a little bit more complex inside and also just use this as an excuse to make a landscape or like a um, actual scenery inside not just fairy stuff 
So that was my first um, idea for the main bottle. And then the other ones, at first I was going to do some sort of either feathers or birds and one related to another type of uh, element, but I didn't really know how to do it. When I scanned the artwork, um, like my basic sketch, I had in mind to just go with the elements. And so I could have done uh, fire, earth separately, but um, I didn't have a lot of space. I didn't want to have four extra bottles. So I combined the elements together. One, um, the bottle that you can see is basically standing up. This is the fire and earth combined because they're really linked um, together. And the other one is wind or air and water. Now, technically every element well, except the water, because I don't think next to a volcano technically could happen if it was an island, but you know, I'm saying I wanted to divide them, but technically, of course, every element is present in every bottle. Um, but yeah, I just uh, used this as an excuse to make a mini world based on the elements. And um, the one that I liked the most definitely was painting the water, it was like a lot of fun, and also just doing the very warm ashy lava ambience in the fire and earth bottle was a lot of fun. It's completely different than what I usually do. And I also used um, two softwares by basically uh, for this artwork. I've used Clip Studio Paint Pro for the majority of the shading because I've used the watercolor tool and that allows me to really marriage to colors and for glowing effects, highlights, uh, adding direct tones and overlaying colors, I've used Photoshop because it's a lot faster. I mean, I could do that in Clip Studio Paint Pro, but I don't know exactly how and I'm, I mainly use this as a painting tool, whereas Photoshop is more a photo editing tool. So I like to combine both. But yeah, it was definitely a lot of fun. Like I said, um, this is different. This has no character. Maybe maybe my subscribers won't love it as much because it doesn't have like my go-to beautiful woman artwork, but uh, especially because the last three videos I um, have done are literally characters. But I don't know, I just wanted to change. And um, I've spent about six hours. This is not like a large, large piece. I. I think I worked on a 3000 pixel uh, square like artwork and uh, Clip Studio Paint Pro is a lot faster in rendition to render colors and everything. It's a lot faster than Photoshop so that's why it took not that long. I remember a few years ago when I was doing digital artwork I spent 10, 12, 15 hours on the piece of artwork. That was a lot of work but um, now I'm able to adapt my coloring style to any medium and you can still see that is me. This is colorful, this is very ethereal, this is bubbly, this is, I mean, not cute, but to say so, like, you, you kind of see my, uh, my personality showing through. This is still my style, but it's different because there's items, there is a decor, there's like this whole scenery and yeah, that's Basically what I have to say about the piece, not tremendous explanation, not like anything crazy. Um, I did had a bit of an issue with uh, the fairy world that I built because technically the, the glass is broken so they escape. That's why I literally labeled uh, fairy world fragile like the irony is kind of it's kind of funny uh, however because the world is supposed to be on the side you see the trees and everything um, that means the the glass uh, probably just fell when you put this on the table or something I don't know I tried my bait based to figure out the uh, <laughs> the story behind it and why it's broken this is not extremely realistic. Um, I mean, I guess the world inside should be shattered. I don't know. But uh, I guess it's kind of fun. Maybe nature just found its way. Maybe this bottle was broken a long time ago and the trees grow back. I don't know. <laughs> you can picture it how you want it to. Uh, but besides that, I guess it was a little bit just not as detailed. I mean, it is still detailed, but you know me, like I really like to have a very 
polished artwork and this is more like a painterly look um this is maybe a little bit too saturated in the end but i i don't know still kind of like it uh, this is just serving the entire purpose of this fairy world because i don't know when i picture a fairy forest it's just very green and and pink and and yellow and just <laughs> spring like and i guess it creates the contrast with the ambience of the workshop itself because of the books and the atmosphere around this uh what's happening on the table it's very dark and so i guess it just balanced things out um i wouldn't have the entire piece very saturated this is uh, this would be too much but if it's just in the center i think it's okay anyway uh what else can i say i mean it's it's pretty amazing that i get to do more youtube artist collective every time i'm like kind of happy that i got back uh it is challenging myself a lot more it's really fun and yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the results. So this is a piece that is available on my Etsy store. She really like it. Um, this is completely different from what I usually sell on there. So maybe I'll find a new audience. Maybe someone will like it. But um, I don't have the original, of course. And this is a, a like, it's just a more of a, I guess, complex study than a finished artwork to say so. But it's still, I'm still happy with the results, so uh, what else can I say? If you'd like to get stuff on my Etsy store, I actually have a sale going on. Uh, this is a very special limited edition sale because I am selling my coloring book for 30% off. This is just for the coloring book. You can go to my Etsy store and check it out. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also the comment section. Just tell me what you like the most about this piece and do you want me to try new things? I think it's pretty interesting to push myself a tiny bit like that. Um, the last couple of months I tried my best to try new things and I think it shows uh, in especially in the wrong, the long run, I think I will get better at every little thing that I like. I'm not going to change everything. I just feel like this is still my style, but I'm doing a little bit more than just characters. So it's kind of nice. And yeah, don't forget to check all the other artworks from every artist in the collective. I haven't done it already because I was working on this piece, but I will binge watch everything because just a preview i'm amazed so this is the finished artwork um like i said i spent six hours on this piece and i kind of like it you know I'm pretty pretty happy with that so yeah thank you for watching this video and i'll see you next week bye bye guys